So today we will be learning to listen to God. Our scripture verse will be coming out of Genesis chapter 3 verse 8 through 17. You have it said amen. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the tree in the garden. Then the Lord called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? So he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I command you at, you have not to eaten? Then the man says, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I ate. And the Lord said to the woman, Is this what you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed more than all the cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life, and I will put munity between you and the woman, and, be, and between your seed and her seed he shall bruise your head. And you shall bruise your feet. To the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and conception. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Then to Adam he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife, and you have eaten from the tree which I have commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it. Curse is the ground for your sake. You ate in, in toy you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you. And between you shall eat the herb of the field. In the sweet of your face you shall eat bread. Till you return to the ground. For out of it you are taken. For dust you are and to dust you shall return. May God bless the hearers and doers of this word for the good and edifying of our heart and mind and our spirit and our soul. Listening to God. My young son loves to hear my voice, except when I call his name loudly and sternly, followed by the question, where are you? When I do that, I am usually calling for him because he has been into some mischief and is trying to hide from me. I want my young son to listen to my voice because I am concerned about his well-being and do not want him to get hurt. Adam and Eve were used to hearing God's voice in the garden. After the, but after they disobeyed what he said, don't eat of that fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. Remember, they didn't eat an apple. It was the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. They hid. Why did they hid? They know they did something wrong. They know that they will face the consequences. They know that they shouldn't have eaten it. 
And it's not like Adam, Eve gave Adam something and he didn't know what it is. And he just ate it because he didn't know. He probably could have known but ate it anyway. God came and called him, where are you? They didn't want to face God because they did something wrong. This is why you have people run from the police. This is why you have people hiding from the teacher in school when they do something wrong. This is why when kids do something wrong, they go lock up in their bedroom. Everything they can do to think that they're hiding from the consequences of doing something wrong. God was testing their honesty too. Because he knew where they were. He knew where they were when he kicked Lucifer out of heaven. He knew. Um, and even, even anybody out there. He knew where some people are going to be even in 2030. We haven't even gotten to 2018 yet. He knew what's going to happen all the way thousands of years from, excuse me, from now. So he knew where they were. That's why he doesn't have to look for us. He knows where we already are. And he knew what, where we're going to hide. But as a loving father, he wants us to speak to our hearts and bring us forgiveness and restoration. He wants us to hear his voice and to listen. So whenever God calls you, we need to answer. We need to pay attention to him. Because what he say could be very important. Could be life-saving information that you need. But to end this on a better note, when you do listen to God, you will be blessed all the days of your life. Some of the days, no, not some of the days. All of your days of your life. Remember in the last last video um, yesterday, we talked about, I think January the 3rd, yeah, January the 3rd, we talked about giving your time, your talent, and your treasure to the Lord. Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your love and care. Thank you for sending your son, our Savior, to fulfill your promises of forgiveness and resurrection. You have a message from God. Father, in the name of Jesus, may God bless what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard. Thank you for the holy word you bestowed upon us, Lord. I'm in that place again, on my knees, laying out my life before you. And thank you that you cried on the cross. It is finished. Let this word rest, rule and abide and in us at this time and forevermore. May all of God's people say, Amen. Heard, rest, rule.